Hi everyone, my name is Precious. In this video, we want to look at the concept of uh, uh, differential equations. Okay, so it's a new chapter in a series that we want to get into. So first of all, we're beginning with definitions. So what is a, a differential equation? Pardon me with this short form of writing D equation, that's uh, for differential equations. Okay, so we say it's an equation that consists of uh, basically three things. One, a dependent variable Y, an independent variable X, and then one or more derivatives of y which is the dependent variable so you recall that uh, y is a dependent variable if it is a function of x so for instance if i write y is equal to let's say 2x plus 1 so it means that y depends on x and so for me to find the value of y i would need x so if i give different values of x i will get different values of y okay so in that case you say that y is a dependent variable of x which is the independent variable okay so <clears throat> now it's when we now have an equation remember an equation is just an expression that contains a equality sign so if you have an equation that contains also a dependent variable an independent variable and one or more derivatives of the dependent variable with respect to the independent we say that uh, we have a differential equation now we the implication is that we actually obtain a differential equation by taking the derivative of a function with respect to the independent variable for instance if I differentiate this function here, y equal to 2x plus 1, I'm going to get dy now with respect to x is going to be equal to 2. So this has actually produced a differential equation. If I transfer these two to this side, I'll get dy dx minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a differential equation. <clears throat> now, before we continue, into our definition i would like you to note that you can write dy dx this way you can also write it as y prime and then um, in some cases we can write it as f prime of x so but in this uh, course or in this chapter we're going to be taking either this prime or this so in other words if it is for higher derivative maybe d squared y all over this x squared so you can as well write this as y prime prime and that is what we have here here and so on so and another way you can write this is you can actually write it this way y to the power of two that the two will be in a bracket that bracket now shows that this is a derivative of the second order but if you don't put this bracket it just means y squared okay so and that's why we have n uh, that's y raised to the power of n here in bracket so that n there means nth derivative depending on the number if it is the third derivative um whatever the case is okay so now here we have said that a differential equation consists of a dependent variable y the independent variable x and some derivatives of y so it could be you know the first derivative or it could also contain up to second derivative or third derivative as the case may be so that's why what we have here so for instance i've given an example here you can also have other examples i can give you something like 2y prime prime say minus 3y prime plus maybe 4y is equal to zero this is a differential equation and it contains y and uh, 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 y derivative now what is more important is y derivative in other words if i write dy dx is equal to zero this is actually a differential equation you you can actually say there is no y here or there is no x here but there is because this is the same thing as uh, dy dx so i can say multiplied by y zero plus uh, 0x equal to 0, something like this. 
so you can see there's actually y and there's actually x and so it contains all of that so let's quickly see some examples now these are examples of differential equations you can see dy dx minus uh, y sine x equal to zero so there is a derivative of y there is y here and there is x here and that's equal to zero now this is another one and the same with this other two examples you can see this one is to the third derivative and then here you have y multiplying the second derivative uh, sorry first derivative equal to 2x okay so i haven't seen examples of a differential equation and i haven't seen how actually we got differential equation which is just the result of a differentiation remember we have done differentiation under calculus so when you take the derivative of a function the equation that results from it is a differential equation so now we need to look at some types of differential equations and to define these types we need some concepts that we want to explain so the first thing we want to define is the order of a differential equation <clears throat> so now we said that the order of a differential equation is the highest derivative present in that differential equation so like you can see in these examples here the highest derivative here is one that's for example one the highest derivative here is two this one is the highest derivative is two and the highest derivative here is three so the order here like i already said earlier is one the order here is two because the highest order present uh, is uh, two in this case is also two and in this case the order here is uh, three okay so now that means you can actually classify differential equations according to order and so you have what we call the first order derivatives which is <clears throat> the first order differential equations which are the ones like this you have the second order which are the ones that have at least you know a second order derivative like this and then which is also this and this one is a third order differential equation okay so another way we can classify differential equations is uh, the concept of degree of a differential equation so what is the degree so we said that the power of the highest derivative present is the degree of the equation so if you come into a differential equation and you determine the order once you determine that then the next thing is to find the power of that particular derivative whatever is the power is the degree of your differential equation look at this for instance now this is the the only derivative we have here and of course the power of this is one okay so that means this is actually of order whereas this one now now watch this second example here you can see that the highest power present here is four but the degree of a differential equation is not the highest power it is rather the power of the highest derivative present and this derivative carrying power four is the second derivative but there is a third derivative present and so it is that highest derivative that you will check the power and in this case the power is two therefore the degree of this equation is not four it is rather what two and then example three i purposely brought that example so that you can see now in this case here you have uh, two derivatives of order one and order two so how do you know the degree of this differential equation you don't just say it is one because the derivative here or oh, sorry the power here is one that will not be correct so how do you determine this now whenever there is the presence of a square root or a fractional index there is need to first of all clear that fractional index ensure that the index of every term here is uh, a whole number before you will be able to get the right degree of that particular differential equation so to do that for this example four we will uh, square every the sorry both sides of the equation and if we square this <clears throat> so you have three over two then the square will multiply and then on the right hand side you have a y prime prime all squared so 
you have not done anything of course this will take away this to so now give you y prime raised to the power of three is equal to y prime prime all raised to the power of two and as it is now you can now determine the degree of this equation which is actually equal to what two because of course the highest order here is two and so the power of the highest order is also two okay so that's for order and degree and so the next thing that gives us classifications of differential equations is the linearity so what then is a linear differential equation so a differential equation is linear if the dependent variable and or its derivative present in the differential equation is also linear so if the both of them if you have the derivative and the y present in that differential equation then both of them must be linear also and what do you mean by being linear that means the power must be one so if there is any derivative present the power must be one then if your y is present in that differential equation its power must be one secondly there must be no product of y and any of its derivatives so if you have in a differential equation y multiplying y prime for instance equal to anything maybe equal to, to this a differential equation of course this is not linear okay because there is a product of y and its derivative right and then the third thing that now helps you determine linearity is that y and any of its derivative must not must not be the argument of a transcendental function and what's a transcendental function that's a function functions of the log exponent um trigonometric functions okay of course these are basic uh, uh, transcendental functions so if i have something like cos y or sine y present in a differential equation automatically that differential equation is not linear if i have something like uh, sine y prime or exponential y or log y maybe lin y present in a differential equation it automatically makes it not linear so let's look at this example can we quickly you know classify these ones okay look at this the power of y here is two that's not linear what is the case here you can see of course the powers are all one that's for y and y prime and then uh, there is no product and there is the transcendental function here which is exponent is carrying x so that means this one is linear so what about the sec the third the third is also linear check that and be sure and so what about the fourth the fourth is not linear not linear because there is a cos y here our y is the argument of a trig function and uh, lastly what is uh, let me see what you can do with this one let me allow you to do this as an exercise is it linear or not linear can you drop your answer in the comment section below and this is where we'll end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you in our next content bye